Hello and welcome to the 53rd video in this series programming a chess engine and now GUI in JavaScript. So we're at the situation where we have our board like this and we've got the outline. In this video we're going to add in the dark and light squares and I just want to quickly explain how this will be done because it's going to be done as pretty much a hack job. Because I've positioned everything completely fixed so the board doesn't change size when we change the window or anything like this. Except, okay the button moves in there but never mind. When um, we position the squares, we know the squares are going to be 60 by 60. So the way it's going to be done is each square will be a div, and this div will be added in JavaScript inside here and positioned absolutely relative to the board here. So the top left of the board is coordinate 0 by 0, which means square A8 will be positioned, will be defined as a, a div that's 60 by 60, and will be positioned at 0 by 0, then B8 will be positioned at 60 by 0 and B60 by 60, and so on. And we'll just simply, like when we're printing the board, go down through the ranks and keep track of whether we want a dark or a light square and set the colour appropriately. And to do this we'll need three classes. We'll need a class to specify whether it's a that it's a square, a class to specify whether it's dark or light square to get the colour. We'll add another class in for the selected square, which is where in the actual app itself we can select a square like so and it makes it um, very dark. And the other thing we'll have is another couple of classes to say which file and which rank they're on to get the coordinate for that file and rank. So like I said, it's a complete uh, complete hack job, but it was just uh, the idea was to get things done as quickly as possible. So the first thing we need to go do is go into the CSS, which is for me always the worst bit. Add in the square class, so with absolute positioning, width and height of 60. I'm just going to drop these uh, brutally in now. So the dark and the light squares with their relative colours here. So the background colours set and also the selected square colour. And then last but not least is the classes for the positioning for a given rank and a given file. So if I just make some room at the bottom of this uh, file here, we have our eight rank classes, which is the distance in pixels to the top, because the board's 480 high, so we know if we have a square down on the first rank, there'll be 420 pixels from the top of that to the top of the board. Like I said, pretty much hack stuff. And we'll do the same with the file as well, but the gap here is set in pixels to the left of the board in absolute coordinates. So that's all we need in the CSS actually to set things up. And now what we need to do inside main is actually write a function when the program starts to actually initialize these, these squares. So I'm going to call this function init board and I'll call it squares like so. And before I forget, because it's uh, happened already, copy and paste this down into here. And just leave it in here so that we can um, make sure the squares are actually initialized. And to do this function, again, this is, uh, <laughs> I've said hack job about three times, I'll say it again, that's exactly what it is. We'll say we have light, are we on a light square, yes or no? We'll say, we'll set light to one to start with. And then what we'll do is we'll basically exclusive all this every time we have a square so that it gets uh, switched each time we've done a square to alternate between dark and light. And then we'll just define now some variables that we'll need a bit later on. So the rank name is to set the class for the rank, file name is set the class for the file, div string will be used for the string for actually setting the div. Uh, we'll have an iterator for looping through the ranks. We'll have an iterator for looping through the files. We'll have a something called a light string as well, which is just saying whether it's dark, the square's dark or light. So now what we need to do is, like with the, you probably remember a long, long time ago, the print board function, where we now have our rank iterator, which will start equal to ranks and it'll be rank uh, 8, except it's a dot, not to tell I'm getting tired, it's a dot and it's certainly not a sad face. Oh dear, it's a dot here, not a comma, good. And the rank iterator stays then greater than or equal to 
ranks dot rank score one and then the rank iterator minus minus so we drop down through the ranks and then inside here we'll also have then our file iterator loop so the file starts at file a uh, dot file a and keeps going until it's up to up or equal to file h and plus plus okay so now what we need to do is a little bit of fiddling inside here the first thing we're going to do is flip the bit to say whether it's a dark or a light square and the reason for this is is they alternate across a rank but of course if you think about the board itself um, that h8 is a dark square as we're going across the rank well, if we start then the next one on A7 with a light square, we're incorrect. We need to go back to a dark square, which is why we've got uh, the flipping of the bit here. And uh, it's probably completely blindingly obvious anyway, but uh, but never mind. Okay, so the thing we can do now then is set up the rank name. So the class for the rank we can set up already. So we can say that rank name is equal to rank, and then we'll simply say plus our rank iterator plus one. And I'll put that in brackets. And this is just so we go from zero to the one because the ranks obviously are zero based. So that's our rank class set up. And in the same vein, we can actually set up our file class in exactly the same way. It's a bit lazy to do it like this, but I will. And this is a file name. So now we have our file class set up also for the uh, for, for the writing of the div string. And now we'll say that if light is equal to zero, then we'll set the light string, which is the class to say whether it's a light or a dark square, equal to light. Otherwise, we'll say else light string equals dark. So what will happen is when we actually start with the program, then light will be one. And then it'll straight away be flipped then to zero, which means it'll be a light square and A8 is a light square. So now we've got light string is now dark. And what we can do now that we're finished with that, so we finish with this square, is we can flip the bit again now for light. And you'll see that when we finish basically a rank, so we get to the file H, it's been flipped, but then it gets flipped again starting the following rank. So that's how that happens there hack jobs all over the place. Now we can set the uh, div string equal to and then div and then now we want to set the classes that this div has and like I said it's going to have its rank class, its file class, the square class on either the dark or the light class. So equal to we need an escape character here so we've got the speech marks open and the first class it definitely has they all do is a square and then the rank name and then the file name and then also gap and the light string and finally on the end then we can close now the uh, we can escape and close the speech brackets like so and then close off the div like so and that's all there is to it the last thing we need to do is take the jQuery selector for the board like so and then just append to the board div our div string and all being being well saving that with initialization when I refresh the browser here of oh, the empty board then we should get some squares printed and there you can see on refreshing we have all of our squares on the board so good in the next video then we'll look at actually getting the pieces set up on the board so thanks very much for watching comments questions criticisms welcome as always on YouTube